Ya betul. Sihat. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Okey. So cuti kita 30. Hmm. Ya supposed to have 60 something kan baru half ni. <coughs> Hari ni kita nak tengok NLP eh. For those yang buat apa a uh, sentimen minggu depan kita akan tengok this week tentang NLP sahaja. <coughs> tak banyak pun I, I already prepared the the slides sekejap eh um. share the screen oh nampak apa eh Hmm, tak share ada. screen, saya nak share screen sebenarnya Ok sorry 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 ah, ni. This one. So this is the slide Kita akan tengok what is NLP And then we will do some exercises On um, NLP And you will learn how to construct the Syntax tree lah So this is um, One of the exam punya Final exam questions Ok Hmm, akan ada so I I, I, I tak ingat lah um, last time berapa markah dia 20 kot so, let me check because you need to construct the um, you need to construct <coughs> the tree and then sekejap eh kita buka tree 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 Ten, ten. Okay, 20 marks untuk for this particular uh, chapter, 20 marks. Okay, 10 marks is usually allocate for the syntax tree and the other tree is for, eh, sorry, the other 10 is for uh, morphology. Okay, tu yang selalu kita bagi dekat dalam exam. Yeah, if I look at every semester yang kita tanya. <coughs> the students. So, kita tengok berapa orang dah. I think 41. Boleh lah kot. Okay, shall we start the class? Let me, let me record this. <coughs> start recording. Okay. So, okay, Assalamualaikum again. Okay. Uh, to all of you today we will continue our lecture with uh, chapter 3 uh, chapter 4 sorry um, and chapter 4 is about natural language processing so for this chapter we are going to learn about what is NLP and then we will this see the um, general application of NLP and also the stages of NLP so um, yang masuk exam tu dekat stages of NLP ya eh? Okay, what is natural language? Before we move to nat natural language processing, let's look at the definition of natural language. So natural language is a language okay, that is um, developed naturally by the human. So this is uh, not a language that you need to program like Python, C++ or any language. This is the human language. Okay, so this will also include the text messages or the posts, the social media posts that you have posted to your social media, media account. Those are natural language. Meaning that uh, the language that is um, developed or that is produced by a human. So natural language processing actually is a study of the computational treatment of natural human language. Okay, it's a study about human language. Macam mana you nak interpret the human language? How are you going to uh, to interpret, to to get the meaning of the sentence or, or the, of the speech? And then um, we can see that in natural language processing, we are trying to understand and, and then we will also see how to generate the human language by understanding how sentences are constructed. That is why one of the section in this chapter, you will learn about uh, 
syntax. Okay, the syntax tree. You need to construct a syntax tree. We need to break down from the from the full sentence. We need to break down into its component, and then uh, from that component, then baru boleh you buat all the translation. If you want to see the sentiment, kalau kata melibatkan data yang banyak. Okay, and then uh, we know that this natural language has evolved. Uh, daripada dulu, zaman-zaman saya belajar dulu, tak banyak lah. We only focus on the information retrieval uh, at that time and also the, the the morphology, everything. But now, it has evolved and um, the structure is a bit, um, apa yang kata, um, different compared to the previous ones. But dia ada banyak, uh, apa, banyak factors. So, one of the factors is uh, there are new words get added. For example, we have Google, we have selfie, life hack. Dulu-dulu zaman saya dulu Google, kalau kalau cakap Google tu, that is apa kata um, um, kita refer to the search engine but now uh, Google tu dah jadi macam uh, Google lah kan. Macam you need to find the information in the search engine. And then the uh, the other one, the other factor is the old words. Okay, um, that lose uh, popularity. And then uh, some of the words, um, apa kata, the meaning has changed and then um, it depends also to the language rules. So this is English. So um, if you want to do in Malay, so you need to follow the Tata Bahasa for Malay lah. Okay, you need to construct the tree for Malay punya structure. Uh-huh. But for this chapter, we will see the English Uh, okay, next is the application of NLP. We know that uh, NLP has been used in many areas for many purposes. One of it is for machine translation uh, where um, based on the, sometimes, um, um, uh, where, where you want to do the machine translation, you need to look at every single component dekat dalam sentence tu tau. So, dia bukannya direct translation yang macam dulu dia akan translate words by words but now they are looking at the structure of the sentence and then they try to translate so that we will get the accurate uh, translation. And then, we can also use NLP for information retrieval, for automatic summarization, text categorization, And then not only that for, okay, search engine dah ada tadi. And then for spoken language control system and also spelling gram- and grammar checker. Okay, previously, previous semester, there are few students who uh, did this um, spelling and grammar checker. And some of them uh, ada buat tentang ni, uh, spoken language control system. They tried to, uh, for example, when when they give, when they say, left so it will go to the left direction uh, dia macam tu dia pakai dia embed dengan Arduino if I'm mistaken waktu tu and uh, uh, there one students yang buat automatic summarization where he tried to summarize the insurance policy okay we know that insurance policy has lots of uh, kata pages So they tried to summarize the whole thing and then come up with the paragraph, uh, one paragraph or one page macam tu uh, so that the apa tu, the client tu boleh faham lah what are the things yang ada dekat dalam documents tu. Text categorization pun dah ada orang buat pakai clustering. Okay, so those are the 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 applications. Yang saya cakap tadi tu more on FYP punya projects but kalau dekat, dekat uh, luar, I think more than that lah. Okay, there are various uh, numbers and various types of solutions, projects that has been done in this NLP area. Okay, so this is the main, the main hero for this chapter. Okay, stages of NLP. So there are seven stages um, uh, for NLP. So first thing, it will start with the phonetic and also phonology. Okay, Boleh and then it will go to yeah. uh, morphological analysis, syntactic analysis, lexical analysis, semantic analysis, discourse integration, and also pragmatic analysis. So it's a uh, continuous phases, the stages. 
Okay, pernah keluar dalam exam, ada uh, tak ingat, I can't remember which semesters, memang you need to describe each of the stages tentang apa. Okay, you need to 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 discuss Masyarakat each of the stages okay, and give lagi. some example from that. Okay, let's look at the first one, phonology, uh, phonetic and phonology. So, the phonet phonetic is about pronunciation. How are you going to pronounce the word? Okay. <laughs> so it will deal with physical building blocks Lawa, of language and uh, language sound system. Ini kalau siapa yang belajar linguistik ni ataupun you pernah masuk English classes yang professional classes tu, you will learn how to apa um how to pronounce each words lah kan. So uh, for example, so K sound, okay, um kita boleh kita boleh dengar lah the K sounds in kite and also code. Padahal untuk code tu tak ada T, uh, tak ada tak ada K but the sounds is like K. Kan? And then the band is band. And then for phonology is a process of the speech. So how can we uh, organize the speech sound in the language? Because for example, if we, uh, apa kata, you mentioned bank. So that, that bank is referring to which one? Is it the finance institution or the river? Okay. So those are the things yang kena ambil kira especially kalau kata uh, apa um, in the sentence um, I mean in words mudah tapi kalau when it comes to speech you need to consider all these things. Okay last time ada yang nak buat uh, dia nak buat speech to text uh, awal-awal dia, 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 dia come up with the speech to text and then uh, at the end of the CSP 600 punya semester tu dia macam okay tak jadilah madam saya nak tukar benda lain because of Oh, uh, tak pernah dia dia batal balik I think, I think um, lelaki kot uh, yes sebab dia kata macam so many nah, things flash kan sama need to lah. focus Style lah. nak kena belajar all the phonology dia nak flash tiba pun nak flash dulu ya yeah. <laughs> tak jadilah Yelah. tapi kalau kata you nak try boleh lah try with nak all the technology um, nowadays boleh try benda tu ok and this is a the next step, the next Mati. phase, uh, morphological analysis. So for Mati. this one, okay, we need to break the words into few morphemes. Okay, morphemes is actually the meaningful uh, unit of the language that uh, cannot be further divided. Okay, so uh, for example here, one one word can, con um, it can, contain a few morphemes. So, kita ada prefix, we can have the root word and Tapi also we can have the yang. suffix. Dia datang juga kan? Okay, for example here, unhappiness. So, unhappiness, if we break the, the word, uh, we can break it into three parts. Unhappy and ness. Ten. So, un is referring to not. Ness is referring to the being in a state or a condition. And the happy itself is the free morpheme. Kita panggil dia free morpheme ataupun the stem word. Okay. And the prefix and suffix cannot stand by itself. So, dia jadi macam pelik lah. Tiba-tiba ada prefix and suffix kan. You need to combine it with the root word. Okay. To become a meaningful punya um, word. Okay, that is morphological analysis. Ini pun pernah masuk dalam exam where you need to break, you need to identify the morphemes of the word. Oh, the man. Okay, nah, kalau kata dia bagi contoh macam kat sini, Mati, unhappiness, yeah. okay lah. Uh, unlikely, okay. You nak break berapa? Hmm, ada yang itu keluar unreliable, okay. Uh, ada yang salah, ada yang betul. So, you need to, Identical apa kata? Babi dia. To be very Lain careful untuk, untuk morphological tinsal. analysis. You can look at the <laughs> Um, apa, um, previous question paper then how dot, how we construct this morphological analysis okay the next one is syntactic analysis okay this is where um, we will see how the sentence is constructed okay uh, the, the the component of the sentence so daripada sentence full sentence we, we need to break it into few components. For example, here, 
Okay, full sentence, we can break it into NP and VP. So what is NP, what is VP? NP is a noun phrase and VP is a verb phrase. So under noun phrase, we have determinant, we have adjective, we have also noun. Okay, for example, eh, if the sentence is the white cat sat under the chair. So you need to break this, uh, apa kata, these words into up to categorize the words ikut dia punya category so from the full structure you boleh bahagi maknanya the white cat Tidak is under noun under. phrase and the whole thing is uh, the, the remaining things is under verb phrase and noun phrase the white cat you boleh bahagi-bahagikan lagi so the falls under which category white falls under which category and cat. Wait, tam tense ni ada di mana sajalah. Okay. Saya aku berada. So itu syntactic analysis. This is very important especially when you want to do the translation ataupun you nak buat speech to text kan. Nah, sebab speech to text you need to in order for you to reply to to produce um a response to the sentence you kena faham apa benda. Maknanya sorry, bukan you lah. I mean the system must uh, understand what is the question ataupun what is the, the sentence supaya dia boleh reply dengan jawapan yang betul. Okay. So, syntaxi is assigned by a grammar and also lexicon. Ini kena tengok eh. Ini masuk dalam exam. Dalam final exam, it will carry 10 marks. Okay, the next one is lexical analysis. So, this is obtaining the Uh, properties of word um, and then you you can uh, you can see lah macam contoh kat sini if x is more than 3.1 so apa benda tu you need to uh, divide into the character stream and then do the token stream okay <clears throat> and then next is semantic analysis so it is concerning about the meaning of the language Okay, kita akan fokus pada satu language, uh, on the language but in one sentence. Maknanya you akan process sentence by sentence. For example, here we have the sentence, you have a colorless green ideas. So, this can be rejected, okay, as uh, semantically because colorless and green make no sense. Okay, kita so kena tengoklah benda tu. Bila you nak buat NLP tu, dia bukan... It's not that easy lah. Okay, you need to um, to investigate to really understand what is Antap. the process. Dalam setiap yeah, phrases. So the And then next one is discourse today. integration. So discourse integration is about finding the meaning of any sentences. And for discourse integration, it will involve more than one sentence. Okay, macam tadi semantic analysis dia tentang satu sentence tu je dua kali for that particular sentence tapi dia akan go um, apa pun kata in higher level dia akan buat discourse integration so from one sentence dia akan tengok relation with a relationship with the next sentence for example here the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog he jumps very high so he ni refers to siapa Okay, so he is referring to the quick brown fox. Mantap. Same goes to these examples. We had, Bill had a red uh, balloon. So John wanted it. So it is referring to the red balloon. Okay, that is cost integration. And the last one is the pragmatic analysis. So this is where you need to understand the text and also dialogues. The whole paragraph or, or the whole documents. So kalau you nampak tadi, the process from stage one until It's stage terrible. seven. So it will involve. So they have start dengan how to pronounce and then on the structure of the word. And then they akan uh, tengok construction of the sentence. And then from the sentence, it will see the lexical, the word properties in the sentence. And then after um, look at the word properties, it will also look at the meaning of the sentence. And then from the sentence, it will go to the paragraph or the whole, the whole documents that we have. And lastly is you need to understand the whole meaning of the text or the dialogues. 
Okay, that are the process involved in NLP. So, they start dengan sekecik-kecik komponen sampailah sampai uh, apa the whole document that you have. Pergi tadi, hi hat okay, hi hat so next is ambiguity in NLP. So, this is the major problem in NLP. Okay, when we deal with a sentence, so it will definitely apa, um, involve this ambiguity. Okay, so ambiguity can be referred as an ability to have more than one meaning or be understood in more than one way. Okay, macam uh, I receive a message I think last two days from one of the FYP students tanya uh, macam sarcasm punya ni kan nak buat sentiment uh, how to handle the sarcasm punya tweets. Uh, so those are the things yang kena ambil kira when you do sentiment analysis. Kadang-kadang dia cakap A tapi dia, 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 dia maksudkan B. Okay. So, some, and definitely our computer cannot understand those uh, language. Kalau kata positif, positif lah. Negatif, negatif. Kan? Ataupun uh, kalau dia kata, kalau kalau you letak, that is uh, apa, um, untuk untuk define A, so dia akan consider A je lah. Tapi kalau you bagi ayat lain sikit, dia tak boleh nak proses. Okay. And then, okay, dia kata ambiguity can occur at various level of NLP yeah, and that it could be uh, lexical, it could be syntactic, okay, uh, semantic, okay, pragmatic. Sepanjang-panjang lah daripada awal sampai habis. Okay. And this oh, is the example. <laughs> okay. Consider the sentence. <laughs> If we have <laughs> the chicken <laughs> is ready <laughs> to <laughs> eat. So we can interpret in two ways. First one, the chicken <laughs> is ready to be fed or the chicken oh, is ready blah. to be eaten. So it can be uh, apa, the chicken itself, the bird, ataupun the food. So which one? Uh, so dia ada ambiguity kan kat situ. And we have another uh, example is there was not a single man in the party which can be interpreted as lack of bachelors at the party or lack of men altogether. Okay, so these are the things yang you kena consider kalau you buat projek berkaitan dengan F, eh, dengan NLP. Okay, uh, actually that's all for NLP but we, I will teach you how to construct the syntax tree for this sentence, um, these five sentences and then I will give you other sentences until you try for exercise lah. Okay, but before we move to this syntax, do you have any question for NLP? NLP tak banyak, tapi exercise lah kena buat banyak sikit sebab uh, syntax tree tu memang wajib masuk dalam exam, morphem and also the steps of NLP yang selalu, selalu ditukar-tukar lah masuk. Okay, kalau you nak belajar further about NLP, then uh, there ada specific course untuk information retrieval, how to apa pun kata, um, how to process the sentence tu kan, the language tu. But ni, since it's a part of uh, ISP 610, so tak banyaklah yang kita cover. Just a very general, surface saja untuk NLP. Okay, any question? Any question? No questions, no questions for me. Okay. Yang lain pun tak ada eh? Tak ada, tak ada. Okay, you nampak tak iPad screen? iPad screen? Nampak. Okay. So, um, saya nak construct the first one. Okay, the first sentence. Jom kita tengok how to construct the first sentence. Dia kata computers process programs accurately. Okay, take the first one. Okay, jom kita tengok macam mana. So, this is the sentence. The whole thing ni adalah S. Okay, this S. 
So you can construct, start with S and then okay, it can be divided into two sections, which is NP and VP. Usually they akan start dengan NP kan? So kita tengok dekat dalam you punya sentence ni. Okay, NP. Bila you tengok computers process programs accurately. We can see that okay, ini akan masuk dekat bahagian NP. And the whole thing yang kat belakang ni akan masuk dekat bahagian VP. Okay. So ini akan computer but first thing sebelum you pergi dekat computer tu, you akan pergi ke noun lah. Okay, computer is the noun. You kena identify what is the what is the component. Okay. So VP is a process programs process programs accurately. Okay, so VP process apa? It falls under apa? Uh, verb. Verb, okay. So you boleh pecah dia jadi verb. Okay, this is process. And then programs. Rasa-rasa apa? Noun. Noun. Okay, good. Noun. So this is program and we have one accurately. Adjective. Yes. Okay, so this is the three for this sentence. Okay, senang je kan. Selalu student score eh. Um, soalan, soalan NLP ni. And then I have another one, another sentence. Kita try buat. The dog saw a man in the park. Okay, so we start with S for the whole. The dog saw a man in the park. So kita nak break into two. Okay, kita tengok sentence. The dog saw a man in the park. So the dog ni, confirm-confirm dia akan masuk dalam NP and the whole thing ada VP. Okay, so we put NP and VP. NP, okay, MP, kita fokus pada MP dulu. So MP have, uh, uh, has two words, the and dog. So the, apa? Determinant kan? And then, Uh, dog adalah noun. Noun. Saya kata itu dia selalu ke dog. Okay. So, saw a man in the park. Saw adalah verb kan? So, you got verb. Saw and then a man in the park. Okay. A man dan in the park. So, you boleh pecah jadi noun phrase. Ini PP. PP ni apa benda pula? Preposition phrase. Okay. NP dia ada dua. Kita ada a determinant. Okay. Kita ada noun. Akan represent man. Betul tak? So, preposition. Kita akan ada P for preposition. Ada in. Kita ada determinant untuk represent the. Kita ada noun untuk represent. Okay. Boleh? Kita senang je kan? Kalau ada like exam. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Maksudnya yang macam determinant noun tu semua kita memang kena tahu lah benda macam contoh dia tu kita kena tahu dia tu determinant Yes Ya yeah, Ya yeah. Memang kena tahu Kalau tak sure untuk sekarang ni untuk exercise ni you boleh google lah Okay you boleh google uh, post of speech uh, Eh sorry part of speech Dia falls under part of speech Oh You cari benda tu So uh, dia, dia akan letak lah Categories Kalau determinant tu apa Kalau uh, noun verb tu Saya rasa Tak ada masalah kan Untuk preposition Untuk uh, Apa nama benda lagi 
Tapi usually dalam exam kita tak bagilah banyak-banyak. Kita tak bagi ayat yang panjang-panjang. Kita bagi ayat macam ni. And usually we will give you two sentences. Okay, you need to construct two, three. Okay, okay. okay ada soalan tak? Saya nak bagi, saya nak bagi. Uh, lagi boleh, boleh, tak? boleh, tak ada masalah. Jom kita buat. <laughs> kita bagi contoh. Sekejap saya ambil contoh yang tadi. The little bear saw a man in the park. Okay, so kalau dalam contoh ni, so the whole thing adalah S. So kita tengok the little bear. The little bear ini adalah noun phrase and the saw a man in the park. Bila dia start dengan verb, dia akan jadi verb phrase. Okay, so this is MP, this is VP, and that MP, dia ada the little bear. So, you need to break down setiap satu ni. Ini determinant, little adalah adjective kan? Betul tak? Yes. And the past, bear is a noun. So, you buat lah, you construct dekat sini. Sekejap. Okay. So, determinant, this is the, ini adalah adjective. This one little and this one noun. Ini akan jadi bear. Okay, so kita now we move to verb phrase. Saw a man in the park. So saw adalah verb. A man, another noun phrase. Okay, sebab a ni dia dia uh, pair together with man kan. Man tu adalah noun, so dia akan jadi noun phrase kat situ. In the park, apa? Dia akan jadi apa? Preposition phrase lah. Okay. Sebab dia ada, dia nak menunjukkan dekat mana tu. Okay. So kat sini dia akan bagi, you akan keluarkan verb. Which is so. And then we have noun phrase and noun phrase. Dia ada dua, determinant and also noun. This is a, this is man. And then kita ada PP, preposition. Kita ada apa? preposition. Kita ada in kan. And then kita ada determinant. And we have uh, pop, pop, pop noun. Okay. The pop. Okay, lagi panjang sentence you. Lagi besar you nak kena construct. Okay, you kena tengok tips dia dekat sini, you kena tengok dia boleh, pecahan dia tu, dulu ada students tanya saya, berapa banyak pecahan? Dua, tiga, kalau boleh kita buat macam macam ni kan? Ini kalau you nak pecah, kalau you nak pecahkan ini jadi macam another noun phrase, hmm, macam tak payah kot, you terus je pecah jadi tiga. Okay, macam ini. Um, kalau you nak pecah semua satu-satu-satu tu dia akan jadi lain sebab kalau you pecah I mean so saw a man in the park kalau you nak buat satu maknanya dalam verb phrase ni you nak keluarkan sini ada verb sini ada determinant sini ada noun sini ada preposition sini ada determinant lagi sekali sini ada noun tak boleh sebab you kena tengok dia punya kategori kita akan pergi step by step ikut dia punya uh, apa kata dia punya komponen tu lah ok so you need to go ok verb dah ada then tengok a man a ni refer pada siapa ni dengan man jadi dia kena duduk sekali ok in the park so dia akan pergi satu-satu sebenarnya tu in ok tengok belakang the ok the in the in the apa in the park so ini akan jadi sekali That's why dia duduk dalam satu, satu branch. Ini NP, another one branch. So, dia dalam branch dia sendirilah. Okay, so that's how you construct a tree or sentence. Tak susah pun, senang je benda ni. Jom kita tengok lagi satu. The little yellow dog. 
add to cat. Okay, jom kita tengok. Saya cuba tukar colour. Okay, the little yellow dog. Okay, sebab noun dia adalah dog kan? Little yellow describe untuk dog. So, ini akan jadi noun phrase. Bark, okay, ini dah verb. So, the whole thing akan jadi verb phrase. Okay. Eh, sorry. Okay, kita ambil ni pula. So, sekejap. Kita buat ni dulu. S, kita construct. Ayuh. Okay, kita construct S. Okay, akan pecah jadi dua. N, P and also V, P. Okay. So, N, P dulu kita pergi. N, P. Kita pecahkan dalam ni. The little yellow dog. Okay, macam mana you nak buat? Rasa macam mana you nak buat? Um, determinant, adjektif, adjektif lagi kot. Dekat bawah okay. MP. Kalau ada, okay, kalau ada tiga, kalau boleh you maksim, apa kata make sure that number of branches dalam satu apa uh, yang, yang, yang you nak pecah tu, kalau boleh maksimum dia tiga, jangan banyak sangat. So yang tu kena okay. pecahkan, kena jadikan dia satu dulu. Iya, yeah, ini maknanya the, kita ambil the, determinant. The, uh, oh, sorry, little yellow dog, ini another noun phrase. Okay, another noun phrase. You all nampak ke? Tak terlalu kuning ni. Okay. Nampak. Okay, this is the determinant, this is the, and then we have another noun phrase, sebab ini dah determinant. Ini, describe untuk dog kan, little yellow dog. So, you akan ada dua adjektif lah. Okay, we have little, we have yellow, and kita ada dog kat sini. Okay. Kalau you buat macam contoh lah, sibuk pula ice cream ni. So NP, dia macam banyak lah pecahan dia. Tak payah nak buat macam ni. Susah. Okay. Dia macam besar dia punya tree. So kalau kata boleh ini, ini, dia boleh letak dia sebagai NP, another NP. Okay. Mam um, doktor. Ya. Yeah. Kalau macam little yellow tu ada satu adjektif tak boleh eh? Uh, tak boleh. Setiap words kena ada tag. Okay. You ah. jangan combine letak macam ni kan? Yang you kata. Hmm. Little. Lepas tu yellow. Uh, you kena contoh. ingat eh. Daripada tree ni nanti you akan ikut. Alright. Macam mana you nak code kalau you kongsi dia macam ni. Betul, betul. Sebab you kena pecah-pecahkan dia. Pergi kepada the, apa kata, uh, komponen yang paling kecil dekat dalam sentence tu. Alright. Thank you, Doktor. Okay. So, untuk VP, so let's continue. Ini adalah verb. 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 Okay. And then you akan ada an at the cat. At the cat, dia boleh ada apa? You nak pakai apa? At the cat. You boleh pakai sama ada you nak pakai PP. Dia, um, tak apa, kita tengok ni dulu. At, lepas tu apa? You boleh letak noun phrase. The moment, the dia boleh letak uh, noun B dulu. Okay, noun this is cat. Okay. Boleh? Kena nampak tak dalam preposition ni dia boleh ada noun phrase pula. Sebab apa? Sebab ada the cat. So, ini another noun phrase. Okay, boleh. Okay, uh, nak tengok yang nombor tiga macam. 
Boleh. Okay. Kalau yang tu dia in the park. Boleh. Nak buat macam tu pun boleh. Nak buat macam ni pun oh. boleh. Kita tengok okay. yang mana satu. So dia ada dua dua cara lah. Dalam exam, kalau you buat yang atas pun saya terima. Kalau kata ada setengah student macam ah, doktor ini pun ah, apa ah, noun phrase juga pun boleh. Kalau you nak combine, you nak pecah jadi tiga determinant dengan noun macam atas, okey. Boleh juga. Tapi tak boleh kongsi. Faham tak? You tak boleh kongsi macam uh, Tasha cakap tadi tu. Kalau you kongsi nanti you bayangkan dia tak tahu itu belongs to which tag. Walaupun ialah kalau logik ni kita tahu lah kan benda tu mestilah. Kalau dia adjektif, pecah dua dia akan jadi adjektif-adjektif. Uh, tapi tak. You kena tag setiap satu komponen, setiap satu word dalam sentence tu apa. Boleh? Boleh ke tidak? Boleh. Boleh, Doktor. Nak lagi satu contoh? Uh, Doktor, boleh ha. ke kalau ayat. dia ayat tu start dengan uh, VP dulu? Boleh, tengok tengok ayat lah. Kalau kan, kan kita ada passive, kita sure. ada aktif kan? So, depends. Ayat yang saya dapat ni semuanya macam kita start dengan noun dulu kan. So you boleh cari ayat untuk, haa uh, uh, lah betul lah. Kebanyakannya ayat start dengan ni. Nanti saya bagi saya bagi contoh lain kejap eh. Kita cari contoh lain ada tak. Apa ayat dia eh. Sekejap saya buka dalam lagi notes ni. Ada tak contoh yang start dengan benda lain bukan noun. Hmm, banyak kan start dengan noun lah. The chef cooks the soup. Hmm. is strong. Ah, uh -uh, banyak kan start dengan noun. Ya, dapat ni. Students, he look pun noun juga. The bread, water, noun. Oh lah tak ada lah. Kebanyakannya start dengan noun. Tapi I rasa kalau kata ada certain sentence, kita tahu kan bila you nak process sentence tu, sometimes the, the sentence will start with word phrase kan. So kalau word phrase, benda yang sama. So uh, word tu akan duduk kat depan lah. Nanti kita try, saya cuba cari contoh lain yang um, yang start dengan word dulu. Nanti saya bagi dekat you all. Tapi uh, for now saya tak ada contoh untuk untuk verb phrase ni yang mana start dengan verb phrase. Hmm, one satu nanti saya bagilah dekat dalam tu. Boleh? So now saya bagi dekat you all exercise dulu. I bagi uh, sentences and then you try to construct the tree. Sekejap lagi saya post dekat dalam WhatsApp boleh? The boleh. sentences. Okay, boleh, this is exercise boleh. for NLP. Boleh, Dr. Uh, tak susah pun. I think um, usually kan kalau final exam, uh, um, antara yang selalu student score adalah ini. Ini memang student selalu dapat 20 over 20. The other one is uh, calculate the TF-IDF. Uh, yang tu memang selalu. Uh, lagi satu confusion matrix pun ada juga. So, Itulah, usually bila final tu, ramailah dapat A. Susah nak justify. <laughs> Ramai juga dapat dapat A, dapat A minus, dapat B plus. Uh, tapi the minimum grade selalu kan B plus atau B je lah. B paling rendah. Okay, so you don't have to worry. InsyaAllah this week eh, this week saya janji dengan you all hari tu nak ni kan. Agak lambat juga saya marking sebab bila every time saya mark saya kena masuk transfer terus markah dekat dalam Excel sebab you all ramai I nak kena buka balik satu-satu-satu susah sebab um, kita semua pakai ni kan um, soft copy jadi I mark tu I transfer dekat dalam Excel so, tu it be lambat sikit tu lah proses but insyaAllah dah, dah habis dah group B, group A dah group B dalam proses 
Mm, I think separuh lagi kot. So I try to finish it by this week. So insyaAllah. Next week I bagi. Next week lah. Awal next week you all akan dapat 30% tu. Oh. Okay. So sorry. Sebab selalu. Konstantinopel. Um, okay. Um, kita stop dulu recording ni. And then I will give Amin. you... Um, The documents, yeah. uh, the, 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 the sentences. So you need to do exercise lah. But construct the tree. Me. Okay. Dengan exercise Cita untuk morphine. Morphine tu saya rasa tak ada masalah kan. Morphine is very easy. So kalau you tengok contoh dekat sini yang dah diberi dekat dalam exam dulu. Morphine. Okay. Unstoppable. Okay. Kita tulis kat sini. Apa? Can you share? Apa eh? Dia masih share iPad, okay. Contoh. <laughs> aku tengok lu, pasal aku fikir Govi babi dah tak ada. So aku oh, check nama kau ada kat kanan tu. Aku pasal kau offline ni. Pasal aku macam aku just kena kalau kau kena. Pasal aku kena balik. Pantai kan kau. Dia ada. Business oh, yeah. and it also repeat. Okay, okay. so you can repeat this one. Macam mana nak buat? Rasa-rasa you untuk unstoppable ni macam mana? Nanti Dia akan ya. jadi apa? Dia punya soalan adalah elaborate the morphemes of the following words in table 2. For word 1, apa? You nak elaborate macam mana? You boleh jawab. Maknanya you boleh cakap kat sini prefix. Un. Uh, stem. Stem. Stop. And then uh, suffix. Okay. Jumaat lah. Okay sama juga yang kat bawah tu. Nanti you Abang. buat lah. Okay ini juga. tak susah. Yang yang selalu students confuse tu dekat tree ni lah. Macam tadi you cakap kan. Uh, yang ni boleh buat MP. Yang ni tiba-tiba tak ada buat MP. So, dia apa, dia adakah dia salah cipas. untuk you buat in the first uh, the first method? Tak salah. Jawapan ni tak salah. Okay. As long as benda tu ada, benda tu betul dan okay lah. Tapi you kena, you kena define lah preposition tu. Preposition and then you tengok. Kami Kalau kata ada, ada banyak Kami lagi then you kena break into its component. Okay. Atas Okay, bawah pun okay juga. Boleh je. Selalu students confuse yang ni lah. So, saya terima je dua-dua. Okay, yang penting yang depan-depan ni mesti betul. Macam contoh dalam satu uh, soalan ni, dia kata he fried with oil, he oil his bicycle. Okay, so there are two sentences. You, you have to come out with two trees. So the first tree is he uh, fried his this oil way. and then the second tree is <laughs> he or his uh, bicycle. So saya so cuma contoh lah sikit kot. Macam mana you nak jawab dalam exam? Okay, so this is S1, this is S2. So you can do S1. So he adalah noun. And then we have a uh, verb phrase. Okay. Where we have a verb. Right. And then with all. So with all you nak tak apa. Rasa rasa apa benda. Preposition ke apa? Preposition noun. Preposition noun. All tu. Noun phrase lah. Oh, okay, okay. Mana ada preposition noun? <laughs> oh, oh, you nak pecah tu. Okay, boleh juga. Boleh, uh, boleh. Terus buat. Oh, Sebab tiga je. Pecah tiga. Okay, boleh. Boleh, 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 boleh. Kalau tak, you akan jadi noun phrase lah kat situ. So, now you tak nak kan? You nak pakai P uh, with And um, apa nama noun? This is oil. Okay, and then you have another three. S two noun. 
Ya, ya. Yeah, yeah. Kenapa dia tak jadi Preposition phrase. Ah, saya cakap apa tadi? Noun phrase eh? Ah, noun phrase. Ah, okay. Sorry. Preposition phrase lah sebab dia ada preposition. Dia start with, with preposition. Okay. Okay, sorry. It's supposed to be PP. Ah. Okay, verb. And then kat sini pun sama juga. Okay. Um... Apa? So, verb, oil, kiss bicycle, you nak pecah macam mana? Hmm. Kiss apa? Noun phrase. Noun phrase. Kiss. Okay, you nak pakai noun phrase. Lepas tu, eh kenapa dia pakai okay. noun phrase? Noun phrase, lepas tu, nak pecah apa dengan apa? Noun Nam 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 apa? Ah. Cepat cari. Nam nam ke? Bukan. Nam nam. Determine di dengan nam. Kiss. Kiss tau. Kiss. Kiss eh. Kiss eh. Hai, siap nak ada apa? Ah, asal tiba-tiba dia terlari ke bawah ni. Pronouns. Pronouns. Ya, yeah, tepat sekali. Hmm. So, you can letak pro kat situ. Yes, and then you have the noun kat sini. Kat bicycle. Yay. Yeah. Okay, so this is the questions dekat. Mari kita tengok Sam berapa ni? December 2019. So, kalau kata betul dekat sini, dapatlah Uh, sorry, it's not 20 marks, 10 marks untuk 223 ni. Kalau sini salah, macam tadi kan ada yang cakap determinant apa semua tu. So, mungkin saya akan tolak, tolak satu lah. Okay. Tengok pembahagian markah dia macam mana. Tolak satu sebab you salah dekat sini. Okay. Bukan kata salah the whole, uh, you, you akan hilang 5 markah untuk satu tree tak. Saya akan Alice dekat sini sahaja. Boleh eh? Tu yang lambat sikit tu sebab bila kalau salah saya cari juga markah untuk saya bagi dekat you all dalam test hari tu. Okay. Ada lagi soalan? Ke dah ready untuk buat exercise? Senyap macam korang ni. Okay ke tidak? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. Okay, good. Okay, tunggu give me five minutes. Anak type dulu dia punya uh, apa ayat-ayat tu. Nanti saya bagi dekat dalam WhatsApp. Okay? So, ya yeah, kita tak boleh pula tu pen-pen-pen-pen kan. Satu tu pula stop recording and then tunggu sekejap. You just give me time untuk buat untuk type ayat okey jap eh
Tengok lah yang mirror aku punya wallpaper <laughs> Ni tu apa ni? Mancing <laughs> Secrets away Dia kena buat macam lol Dia kena call Nak minta dolar pun kan uh, Dulis on the topic macam ni. So Dini, uh, okay, you talk about everything about is on your table just now and then what you need to do is to explain lah. Of course you you need to add uh -huh. more. Ah uh, okay. Betul. Okay, ada is there anything more that 